Hi guys, welcome to iHearts at Home. Today we are going to show you how to make this delicious Bloody Mary. First of all, we are going to start with a couple of uh, cherry tomatoes. Just take the cherry tomato, slice it through the centre. Uh, we're going to muddle this with a little bit of fresh basil, uh, some seasoning, so we're going to use some celery salt and some cracked black pepper. So a nice generous pinch of celery salt, don't be shy. A little bit of cracked pepper. And then we're just going to add the vodka straight up. Going to go with 60 mils. Uh, we're using a French wheat vodka, uh, which is called Tried and True. That goes straight in. We're just going to gently muddle the chai tomato and the basil to help extract some of those uh, flavors into the, into the drink. Okay, so once that's done, uh, we're going to add some of the spice. Uh, a Worcestershire sauce from Lane Pines. We're going to go with about 10 to 12 mils of this. So a nice generous, uh, nice generous little drop of that goes in. Um, next you're going to use a pepper sauce. We use uh, Kataya Fire, but you can use Tabasco or any other hot pepper sauce that you can find. Um, now how much of this that you put in depends on how spicy you like to drink. We just use a nice little dash. Next up, uh, some horseradish sauce. Just a small teaspoon of that. Then we're going to go with the tomato juice. Um, so we're going to use about 90 mils of tomato juice, uh, but you can use uh, a little bit more if you like. Uh, then we have some fresh lemon juice. We add lemon juice to give it a nice little bit of acidity in the drink to keep it nice and balanced. Uh, and you can use about 15 to 20 mils. That goes straight in. Uh, next we're going to add a little uh, dash of port which gives a nice sort of sweetness to the, the drink as well. And we use about 15 mils of port. And we're going to add some ice and stir the drink down. And then we're ready to garnish. We're going to garnish it with a chai tomato, which we're going to season with some sea salt and some cracked pepper. Uh, a fresh basil leaf and a slice of lemon. And here we have it. One of the Eckhart's Bloody Marys.